Vision is behind the making of runners. Welcome to Sunday, the 27th day of December 2020. I believe that God is being is blessing you in this season of celebration and thanking God and all. We've been thanking God consistently in our services, and I believe that uh, you are blessed. Well, our topic today on the seeds of destiny is the consciousness of accountability. The Bible says, Yea, each of us will give a personal account to God. Romans chapter 14, verse 12, New Living Translation. But for the day, the consciousness of accountability impacts caution to life's actions. It has been confirmed that one reason why people live anyhow today is that they are not conscious of their accountability to God. The consciousness of accountability impacts caution to life's actions. For example, it is the lack of the consciousness of accountability that makes people dress seductively, for instance. Even when they are going to church, Today, people wear transparent clothes, seductive dresses, even to church. And you begin to wonder if they think that the church, which is a salvation center, has become a seduction center. Please know that you will give an account to God if you position yourself in church as an instrument of sin for people who run away from the sins of the world to encounter you and then end up falling into sin. Know also that you will give an account of the way that you treat your fellow human beings. You will give an account of the way that you treat your driver, for instance, your domestic staff, your office staff, your clerk, etc. You are, they are human beings like you and you are only privileged to be a superior officer to them. If you are a ritual killer, or a human spare parts dealer, or an armed robber, or a hired assassin, who take people's lives, you will also give account to God one day. So maybe you are a doctor, or a nurse, or a health attendant, who specializes in aborting unborn babies for people. God will definitely ask you one day how you got the license or who gave you the license to take another person's life. Be conscious of this. Beloved, the consciousness of accountability is key to living right. Always know that you will stand before God one day to give an account of how you lived your life. Remember this, that the consciousness of accountability imparts caution to life's actions. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, always live in the consciousness of accountability to God. Number two, make up your mind to live right by the grace of God. Praise the Lord. I'm excited and I believe that the Lord's help is being unleashed upon you in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Say, oh Lord, I ask for the grace never to be a stumbling block to anyone on earth. Let my actions lead people to you instead of leading them away from you. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name. I'd like to pray for you. If you'd like to be born again, simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. And it's your birthday today. I say happy birthday to you. As your day so shall your strength be increased on every side. Multiplied blessings be unleashed upon you in Jesus' name. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful Sunday. And have a wonderful week ahead in Jesus' name. God bless you.